I was eating a, a burger. It's a banger of a burger in this one. Real quick though, boys, smash that subscribe button if you're new here, you're looking for locks and laps. We got it. And here we go. It's the co-meet event. It's a flyweight title rematch between the assassin baby, Brandon Moreno, as he takes on Davison Figueredo, aka the god of meat. Their last fight was an all-time classic, probably the best in the division's history, and ultimately it was a draw where Figgy was able to retain his crown, but it's important to note that there was an illegal groin shot where Figgy was docked a point, and that essentially opened the door for uh, the possibility of that draw, because otherwise it was likely a win for the God of Meat. He seemingly did enough across the five rounds to beat uh, the assassin baby but that groin strike made it very interesting from the scorecards perspective and the fact that it was just such a close competitive fight anyways made it a no-brainer of a rematch so we know that both guys are going to be coming in hungry for this one and if you've been kept keeping up with the embeddeds we saw a super hyped up coach walid ishmael colin moreno the cry baby and uh, very interested i like the little added element of tension for this one because brand moreno is such a likable guy right he's a uh, very relatable character and uh, not someone who's easy to start beef with. So for Wallet Ishmael to give us that little added element of the storyline, you'd love to see it. And speaking of Moreno, it's just been a truly unique journey for him, right? We've totally just seen him grow up in the cage and he's had a unique journey, you know, having had the early success, getting cut, coming back, and now is essentially right near superstardom and about to be the face of a huge Mexican MMA market. So this is a, a prime opportunity for Brandon Moreno. And I think in front of a packed Arizona crowd, he's going to be getting a lot of love from the fans. So I know you rep Figgy hard. So are you going with Davidson Figueredo in this rematch over Brandon Moreno? Or uh, does the assassin baby figure out a way to get it done? Yeah, I've uh, I've been waiting for this fight rematch since uh, the first fight. I just they were gonna rebook it, no doubt about it. Super pumped. Uh, I wasn't justified with the draw. I gotta see my boy Figgy win, and uh, I think he's gonna go out there and put a statement on. Uh, but like you said, you know this is gonna be in Arizona. Uh, we're gonna be there. Uh, the energy is going to be off the rails, uh, especially for Brandon Moreno uh, with the Latin community. I mean, a lot of big fans in Arizona. Um, I'm sure a lot of people are going to be going to this event purely for him locally uh, for the event. And uh, But I don't think uh, Figgy cares. Figgy is an absolute savage. He's ruthless. He's got to be one of the most ruthless dudes in the UFC. And nothing phases him. This dude is the real-life Zohan. And uh, I think he's going to get it done. I, I'm thinking first or second round KO. Uh, this dude is so ruthless. Uh, I think he's gonna make light work. Um, he said he was sick. I believe him. And he still made it five rounds. He went right to the hospital right after not from damage, but from whatever illness inside his body. Um, I think he's going to put a statement saying like, yo, I wasn't well, this is the real me. So that's why I have to go with my boy Figgy. I see the heat right there and love the analysis for sure. You you described him as ruthless and uh, for Deus de, de Guerra, he truly is ruthless, right? 21 and one is his record and he's just been absolutely smashing guys. He hits like a Mack truck despite only weighing in at 125, but we've seen Brandon Moreno have a keen ability to eat heavy power shots. I mean, Brandon Moreno has a serious chin and so while I see the topology of 76% for Figueredo and as much brown as it is, I'm just a little shocked because Brandon Moreno to me is just a guy who can absorb a lot of damage and isn't one to ever be KO or TKO. So uh, I'm not as bullish on that finish for God of Meat. I think that if Figueredo gets this one done, uh, it's going to be maybe even by a late submission or a decision. Um, but I just... I see Moreno being able to uh, eat shots and still come forward like the Mexican zombie he is historically. So this is going to be a sweet fight. Um, even though majority of the uh, topology is bullish on Figueroa, I know he's your boy, you're repping hard. I got to go with the assassin baby in this one. I'm buying the hype. I think he's going to find a way to get this rematch done. And uh, that last fight was was very close. I mean, if there wasn't that groin shot, yes, Moreno likely loses that fight. But Moreno wasn't very far off. And I think that this is Davison Figueroa's 
toughest test in this 125 division. Uh, and I see Moreno finding a way to eke out a close split decision victory. So I'm going with Brandon Moreno. I think he's going to be feeding off that hometown hype. Uh, and ultimately, he, he finds a way to get it done. So any last thoughts on this co-meet Figgy versus Moreno mall sesh? No, uh, just, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are going to be watching this card. Uh, you don't want to miss one of these fights uh, when you're breaking down the juicy uh, fights and the meat logs. So stay tuned and check out other videos. Smash subscribe, throw in the comment. You guys have the god of meat or you go with the Assassin Baby and all the Funko Pop. Uh, you know, if you're a Funko Pop fan, hey, I get it. Go with the Assassin Baby. But, uh, you know, if you're looking for some Prism uh, heat, I would definitely recommend going with the Figgy. Uh, but other than that, check out other videos and stay tuned. Thank you.